Good morning everyone, this is Ernesto here back in action. Again hitting the trails. Today I'm gonna go up to Calaveras County, which I'm already here. Um, as you can see behind me, I'm at Stanislaus National Forest. We're going to, we're going to Big Tree State Park. Uh, I'm gonna go hang out with among the giants. Do a little walking around. Uh, I've recently lost my spirit stone, as you guys might see in a lot of the uh, previous episodes that I've had, and the spirit staff. So, it's kind of really sad. Lost a lot of things this year, and maybe that's their journey, but whatever. So, so yeah, let's continue on. I'll talk more about it here in a little while. Let's get going. Okay, so parked, ready to rock. Just grabbing my stuff now to get going. I got my pack. Got the new Exos this year, so this is really a good backpack so far. I love it. I feel almost like it a lot better than the uh, Manta that 36 that I had have. Um, but so I got this with me. Got a extra sweater in there. Um, also, bringing the last. The last of my staffs, which is the dragon staff, as you guys saw, maybe you saw the episode where I uh, christened this as the dragon staff in the desolation wilderness. But got some water, got my hydro flask, got a beer with me just in case. Uh, typically, as you guys know in previous episodes, that was part of the uh, hiking adventure. Um, in some cases, you know, uh, sometimes I just don't drink it. But um, in this case, though, I do want to mention is that, like I was mentioning earlier, that I lost my staff, the spirit staff, the black one with the wrappings, and also lost my spirit stone, which was bestowed upon me by um, the mountains of the Crystal Range. And so that's kind of a bummer. But I do have my own crystals that I've also found in the same location as to where my stone was originally brought to me from. So I'm excited to bring that along with my journey today. Uh, I got some pizza for the lunch break part of it, and I'm just kind of really excited to kind of join the trees again and hang out with them. So, I want this guy to meet the big old trees and uh, just kind of have a good time today. So, let's get to it. So I'm on the trail already, the north side trail. Um, I'm coming up to the spot where the giant tree was cut down by the loggers back in the day. Uh, a lot of people there though, so I'll probably have to circle back to that later and show you guys. But let's keep going. Alrighty gang, so still on the trail. This is a very easy trail. It's only a mile and a half one way, so doing about three miles today. Just kind of hanging out with the trees. But as you can see behind me, we got this big old root system here from the sequoias is what it kind of looks like underneath. If you look at all the little um, demonstrations or illustrations rather of, of the uh, tree root system and stuff, very wide. So I'm going to go check this out.
to the depths. We're in the inner lines, walking through the inside of the sequoia. It's a good time. Go. Hooray! We're on the inside. Good times. <laughs> All right, let's get going. We're almost there. Massive beast of a tree. Or two trees. Pretty awesome. Let's do it again. Look at this texture. Hey, Big Papa. What's bubbling up right there? It's cool. This looks so awesome. I love coming here, and it always seems as though I come here during the time of the winter or spring where there's still snow. It seems to be rather the case that I come here during the <laughs> summertime, so maybe next year. 2019's got a lot of promises for a lot of adventure, so pretty stoked. All right, let's go. All right, everybody, so um, I think I'm gonna hang out here for a little while. It's pretty much the end of the trail. It loops back around, um, so I want to go ahead and I know I mentioned that I probably wouldn't drink this today, but I think I will in honor of the losses that we've come across this year. So if you've lost somebody, this is for them, something important to you. If you feel like it, if you feel as though this is like a time of new beginnings for you, that's certainly how I feel. So I needed to come back out here to just kind of be amongst the, the trees again. And so uh, recently lost our dog Kong so this is for him. We love you so much. He was the best. Wasn't expected to live past the year. He lived past <laughs> nine years. So here's to you, Kong. And cheers to the Spirit Staff and the Spirit Stone, wherever you may be. I hope you're taking care of someone else, okay? Cheers. Cheers, cheers. All right, so I'm hanging out on one of the benches here now, trying to enjoy this beer. I'm drinking a Trois Pistoles, three guns, I guess, in French. 9% <clears throat> alcohol by volume, and it is made by one of my favorite brewers, breweries, <laughs> Unibrew. So I'm really lucky, I'm feeling lucky that in California, that I live in California. Really lucky that I live in California because we have so many different things to go see any time of the year and so much history. Even, you know, they're still discovering things all the time. And that's really cool. Uh, and, you know, that's pretty much all I got for you there. But cheers again. Um, I'm glad that I'm here out here. But I'm glad that I'm out here by myself. I saw there was a school that brought the. Uh, field trip kind of thing going on today so that was all right uh, nice to see children learning about this stuff still and that's cool um, everything about the wilderness it's very quiet right now except for me just gabbing about so just gonna kind of hang out now Blessed are these stones in the light of the trees.
that ends my stay today at Big Trees National Park here in Calaveras County. Just want to let you guys know again, thank you for joining me on this trip. Again, I want to reiterate that this trip was more for uh, new beginnings kind of thing. A um, place to take an easy walk and find a little bit of yourself in a time of need. And so, so if you find yourself in a time of need, this is definitely a place to come visit. Come check it out. It's beautiful. It's fun. Uh, they got a cool little store. It's a really easy hike, but if you're looking for something a little bit harder, there's also another harder trail that you can do in the summertime. Uh, not really in the wintertime, but definitely come to Big Tree State Park. Uh, it's a $10 entrance fee, just so you know. Uh, again, a couple of the highlights. Really easy trail. Uh, obviously the sequoia trees, which is amazing. Uh, a little bit of history sprinkled throughout the forest trail. Uh, they got a little store. Uh, I don't think they have food, but they got bathrooms and stuff. So come check it out. It's really cool. And uh, my favorite place to get food and drink after this is uh, the Snowshoe Brewery out here in Arnold, California. Really good wings, really good beer. Go check it out. I'm going to take a quick stop there on my way back home. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this adventure with me. Come check it out. If you're in the area, see you in the wilderness. Bye guys. Alrighty guys, just as I mentioned a little bit before I left the trailhead is that my favorite pit stop here in Arnold is Snowshoe Brewing Company. Best place to stop by and get a beer. Let's go inside and check it out. Okay guys, so I've stepped into Snowshoe Brewery in Arnold, California. Like I mentioned, it is my favorite place to stop by when I'm in the area. Why? Because you get a homely, welcoming course. It's an awesome little place. Um, so if you like the comfort of a homey type place, you come here and have a beer. Uh, I'm having a Grizzly right now. Cheers. Come on in guys. we get some wings too, on top of that. <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. I think so, man.